Okay, welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PPC Campaign Generator to create a real estate paid search campaign. So we're gonna start from scratch here, from the absolute beginning, which you would be going through if you were gonna do this. So my, my methods of getting keywords and you know putting together and building paid search campaigns are probably, I don't know if they're all that different from other people, but I would say I haven't seen many people do it the way I do it. Um, but I also haven't seen many people build paid search campaigns and openly share it. So here we go. We have PPC Campaign Generator opened. Now, the first step in this, we have to describe the scenario. We have to describe what our goals are of building this campaign right off the bat. So the first thing we want to worry about is what is the point? What are we trying to do? In this case, I just made up a scenario where we are a real estate agent. We want to generate leads for people that are trying to sell their home. So if they are trying to sell their home and, and I'm a real estate agent, let's say, I want to find people that are right now in the market for trying to sell their home. And I want to get in front of them with Google Ads or Bing Ads. So let's do this. First, we start out with thinking about keywords that a real estate agent might uh, want to bid on. Now, I've seen some strategies where some real estate agents, they bid on uh, very not related keywords. I'll give you an example. So they say, I'm going to target people that are looking for the value of their home. Now, the problem with that is, yeah, they might loosely be connected to somebody looking to sell their home, but it's not an exact 100% for sure lead. So here's what I would suggest here. I would say, let's start out, if I was a home owner, I'm looking to sell my home. I'm gonna type in words like sell my house, home. And then I'm going to type in things like how to sell my house, because I'm at the top of the funnel, how to sell my house, who can, who can, sell my house, let's just generate that here, and then sell my house, real estate, estate agent, um, agent, we generate that. So this is a keyword combination tool. I'm gonna just keep it simple right there. Uh, or I could just say, take out the my, sell home, sell house, uh, real estate agent, sell home, and then maybe I would type in the name of a city. So for this, what I would do is not open up Explorer there. What I would do, well, I got a bunch of tabs over here. Hang on one second. Okay, so here it is. Google, there's a site called 5minute, 5minutesite.com. They also have this tool. Let's see if I can find it. I don't usually go through this to find the tool. Local keyword generator, maybe that's it. Yeah, this is it. So it's a five minute site.com slash local underscore keywords dot PHP. Here you can put in a zip code. Let's say I'm a local real estate agent in let's say the Bellevue, Washington area. Bellevue, Washington. Zip code. So I just want to get a, a base zip code 98004. So we go here, we type in 98004, and we'll say the radius is, uh, we'll say 30 miles. There's several options here. I'm not going to go through what they are, but you can check them out on your own if you want to visit this site. You could also enter keywords to generate for the zip code for this for this so what we're doing is we're outputting cities. So it could be something like real estate and then the city name. And what this tool does, let me just step back here. It looks at this zip code. It looks at a 30 mile radius around that zip code and all the cities located in that zip code, it's going to generate outputted uh, phrases, keyword phrases, but all I want is the city name. So I just really wanna know what cities are within a 30 mile radius of this zip code. 
This is like the best tool I could find on something like like this after my many years of paid search. So here they are. Now obviously you can go through these. You could also pull up like a Washington state population by city like this. And this tutorial here that I'm going through is gonna be kind of in depth. If I lose you at any point, then don't don't worry about it. But let's pull up Excel here. I'm just gonna show you how to do this analysis. We're gonna right click, paste as special. So the keywords I had copied here were the ones from five minute site. And then what I wanna do is get the population right here. So let's see if we can, that's the state. And see how these have city attached to it. So we're going to have to do some pre-processing. So copy that, paste it here. And luckily it pasted okay. We're just gonna control H. We're going to remove the word city. So space city, we're gonna replace it with nothing. And it didn't replace this, so I don't know why. Replace all, there we go. Now what we wanna do is call the VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. We're gonna look up this city in this list here. We're gonna return column two, and we're always gonna say false, so you don't have to worry about what that, what that means. Drop this down, and now we have the population for each city. Now this might be useful if you just wanna focus on like the main, let me sort this, so data, sort, we'll sort it not using a column header. So column B, we're gonna sort it largest to smallest. And I guess NA sorts it largest to smallest there. But anyways, these are the cities that were found. Now Medina, let's look, Medina, couldn't find it. So what I'd wanna do really is get a better lookup table than this maybe but this is just an example. So if I wanted to focus on only the cities with a population over or whatever, I could. But for this example, I'm just going to copy all these. Just wanted to show you how do I would do that, how I would approach that. We go back into PPC Campaign Generator. We paste this list like this. Now notice these are all capitalized. So we're gonna say sell home, and we could say sell my home, house, we generate them. So now we have the combination of sell home, sell my home, these city names. And since we know these are in Washington, we could also just do WA or Washington. Generate these. So we're just generating keywords. There we go, sell my home. Now let's transfer this list over here. The goal of this is just to get more keyword ideas but it's also going to find a bunch of junk as well. That's a good thing because we wanna know what type of keywords could potentially trigger our ads. So it's good to know what kind of junk you could possibly have triggering your ads so you can block it before you even start doing paid search. So ideally you would let this run what it's doing is it's going through all of these and it's getting more keywords. You can see the keyword count over here. But we're not gonna just let it go for now because this is just a small example. Um, see, as you can see, I got some junk here. Does Home Depot sell Kenmore dishwashers? Not relevant, right? So anyways, this keyword list is now normalized. Look here, how to sell my home on Zillow. So we can quick, quickly realize uh, that there's going to be some things we have to filter out. And you know, this Yahoo Search Assist usually is the reason. So uh, let's let's actually, let's just leave it because I want to show you how you would identify negatives. That's a good, good opportunity. We're going to add it to the main keyword list. So now we have this campaign one. Now the campaign name could be used as a campaign variable, 
when you want to use it as a placeholder. So we're going to call this, um, we'll just call it cell uh, home. Okay, so now we say analyze. This button here helps you group your keywords. These are our keywords here. So what I first would do, the first step after going through this, and, and you want to make sure that on this step, you don't get a lot of junk that's not even closely related. Like we saw, we saw some pretty gross junk come through here. So we have things like sales force. And this is, this is build paid search campaigns here. I think I mixed, I mixed. So let's remove these keywords here. Let's just pass this back to the main keyword list. Okay, here we go. So Home Depot, if we don't want Home Depot, what I would do is I type out Home Depot and I start out with a list of named entities. So Kenmore, you gotta be careful because Kenmore could be a city within Washington. Uh, let's look for, I did see Zillow. We might wanna bid on Zillow, but we would do that as a competitive keyword. And so that'd be a competitor. And it's kind of a competitor because if I'm selling my home, then I want I don't want the commissions to go to Zillow, but maybe I work with Zillow to try and get more leads. So there's a gray area there. That's something that a real estate agent would have to think about. Facebook, maybe we block that. So right now I'm looking for negatives. Look, how to sell my own homemade chocolates. So that's a negative for sure. So let's just open up a list here. Salesforce, these are some named entities that I'm just gonna put off to the side for now. And let's just get rid of a bunch of stuff. So let's say the keyword does not contain, and we're gonna use the full word, sell my home. We know that's what we want, sell my house. So let's filter this. And let's look for more things that we do want. Home sales. So these are people that might be relevant. Home sell agent, sell my homemade. So sell my homemade, we definitely don't want. Sell home. So we're gonna do sell home, sell house. We're gonna filter it again. So look at what we did here. We filtered out the things that didn't have these phrases in them very quickly. So does Home Depot sell Kenmore dishwashers? We don't want that. So I'm hitting delete on my keyboard. Home sales. So who would be typing in home sales and then the name of the city? I don't know. Home sale, home sale agent. That's something relevant probably. I'm gonna remove this home sales. How to sell my homemade chocolates. No, how to sell my homemade products, salsa, pending home sales. So who would wanna know pending home sales? Probably another real estate agent. I don't really know. Recent home sales. So that could be a consumer. Recently sold homes. So these might be, these might be people that are looking for homes that have already sold and they might be in the process of thinking about how to actually sell their home or what their home could actually be valued at or go for. But right now we're, we're, we're focused on just eliminating the obvious things like cakes, sell insurance from home agent, sell my park home, sell my park home. Not really sure, we're just gonna delete it. If you don't know, just delete it. Sell homemade gold bars, no. Senior selling home agent wants wall images free. That is all coming from probably Yahoo Search Assist. It's terrible. Sold home, Bellevue, Washington. Short sale homes, Gig Harbor. So short sale might be a trigger that we don't wanna bid on. These other ones here are questionable. We're gonna keep them. So now we have these keyword lists that we definitely know have these phrases, but also have been filtered for this example. Now we're gonna clear that filter. Here's our keyword list. So the first thing you might wanna do is group the keywords by the actual city name. So I'm gonna go back to the research tab, copy this, 
go back to the grouper tab. This is where you could use automatic keyword grouping. We're going to add those city names as, as uh, themes we're going to group by. Hit next. And then we hit finish. What that's going to do is pull out all those cities and put them into their own ad group. So any keywords that had these city names in them, they're now in their own ad group. And we know that they all contain sell my home or sell home, something to that effect. So they're all gonna be relevant. Now we have this, these are all the things that are remaining. How to sell my home, um, Grand Theft Auto. So let's analyze this again. I'm gonna show you how to make negatives real quick. So we have cannabis, we're going to hit negative. And when you do that, it puts it on the negative keyword tab here. Facebook, we're just going to hit negative. I'm not sure if uh, a realtor would actually want to do that. Grand Theft Auto 5, negative. GTA, negative. Zillow, that's a potential negative, but we have it on our list here. So we're not going to worry about that just yet. What's this? Cash, how to sell my home for cash quickly. Kentucky, sell my home in Kentucky. We're going to say that's a negative. And so you would look at look at all of these. How to sell my house to my child, how to sell my house without a realtor. So without a realtor might be something we want to block. So what you can do is type here. Without and it filters everything for you. Sell my home without a realtor, without an agent, without a realtor, without an agent. So maybe the word without, we just want to block. Negative. Now keep in mind without is kind of a broad general word. So doing so could block other things that you might want, but you just have to weigh the, the benefits to the costs. And usually the costs, um, usually the benefits of blocking something that could potentially cause a lot of problems for your campaign outweigh the costs of trying to filter out every possibility from my experience. So now we have these. Uh, we're going to say, I'm just going to just sell home. We have long, what is this? Long branch? Long branch. What? Let's see if that's long branch. Sell home long branch. I'm not really sure what these are, so I'm just going to delete them. Maybe we type in agent. Okay, so these sell my home agent. So we're just going to make a group called agent, create groups. Notice the keyword list is getting smaller and smaller, and we see a common theme here how to sell my home. So we're just going to type in, I'm going to type it in how to sell my home. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. That creates a group. How to sell my house. Enter. There we go. And then we just have sell my house. Sell my home. And we've successfully grouped all the keywords at this point. But we, we have some groups with city names in them. We also have some groups that are more generic. So what I would like to do is probably change the ones that are generic. So I'll look for these. Let's copy this city list here. Go to the groups tab now. This is a refinement step. We're going to say add group does not contain the full word here. So these are our groups that were kind of custom, uh, they don't relate to a city. So for this, I'm going to append something before them for the ad group name here. And I'll just append like a some character, like an asterisk, for example. And that way they jump up to the top of my list and I know not to generate keyword phrases or use their names as placeholders. I'm going to generate my ads, which is what we're going to do next. So now we have, let me show you the keywords here. No ads yet. Sell my home, how to sell my house, sell my home, 
sell my house. And you could, let me actually group these into one group. I'll show you how to do that. You just drag and drop how to sell my house onto how to sell my home. It deletes all the keywords that were in that group and it puts them into this group. So if we look at the keywords in here, how to sell my home, how to sell my house, all in the same group. And we could do the same thing for sell my house. Let's say we prefer the word home instead. There we go. All the keywords are now in this group. And honestly, we could just dump them all into one, one group, really, because they're all pretty much the same. The ad's not going to be that different if we generate different ads for that. Okay, so now we have this group. I'm going to keep agent separate because that's something we would want to focus on. That's something really specific, somebody looking for a real estate agent, and that's highly relevant to my business. So now we have this. We I've showed you kind of how to do some things in here. I've actually showed you quite a bit just by using the program here. We're going to generate the ads now. So let's take a step back. What we did is we did keyword research. We didn't really look at the settings. You can go deeper in that if you want to. We grouped our keywords here. We refined the groups. So if we wanted to look at the keywords, let's take a look here. Um, Bremerton, Washington zip code. That's jobs here. Sell home Bremerton, Washington jobs hotel. So this is a refinement step. Like I said, we want to eliminate job jobs. And what I like to do is I like to put this on contain does not contain full word. And then I go through here and I find things that are just totally not relevant. Like we saw and this this happened because we use the scraper. So you that's what I mean by a lot of junk. So we have map See how that goes away. Rest restaurants, restaurant, zip code. And then look, hotel, motel. And we see the plural version, hotels, motels. We do see waterfront may or may not be worth excluding school schools. Now be careful excluding schools because people are looking for homes in good areas with schools. We have movie, movie, apartment, apartments. And the idea here is we just want to whittle this list down. Bakery wallpaper and this is an excellent way to find negatives so i'll just save you from the trouble of watching me do this because this process can be tedious but look at this list here now what we can do is, is reverse the filter we could say does contain the full word so these are all the keywords that we know we definitely don't want so what i like to do is just select them all delete and there we go and then we just apply the filter again and we would continue. But this process can be very tedious and you can find a lot of great negatives. Watches, warranty. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna move on from this. But just know that you would want to go through here, pre-qualify them, filter them, move on. Now we're gonna generate some ads. So we click new ad. We can adjust the bar if it needs to be adjusted. This is for the latest version of expanded text ads by Google Ads and Bing Ads. So here's what you would do. You can use placeholder parameters here. So we might say something like sell your and then something here. We're going to say ad group name. And we're not going to add a default here. Sell your something home fast. Because people are probably looking to sell it pretty quickly. Um, find or talk, let's say talk to our experienced agent. Agents. Top return. I don't know 
I've literally done zero research for this video. We'll just say top return because homeowners want a good return. Um, and then they probably want the process to be easy. We'll say easy process. So here we would just have something like something more generic, like talk to our expert real estate agents to sell your home quickly and painlessly, period. Line two is pretty much optional. And uh, I think it looks, I don't like the way the new ads look, but that doesn't mean you don't have to add it here. It makes the ads look very big and blocky. So I tend to recommend to just keep it short because it may or may not even show up at all. So here we're gonna say, um, experts, I don't know. I'm kind of appealing to the experience portion in this ad. So if I'm a real estate agent, I might have a bunch of experience. We could say something like 20 years experience in, and then we could add that ad group name again, ad group, real estate, period. So these are just placeholder parameters. You can add default text there as well. And then for this, I'm going to say, say something like sell home. You only get, I think 10, no, it's 15 characters here. Sell my home. And then here we're gonna put in the name of the city. Again, we're gonna use the ad group as a parameter. And actually what we wanna do if the, if the name of the city has a space, we want to put a dash. So that's what you can define there. And then for the final URL, you could do this two ways. You could define it here on the ad group or on the groups tab, because this ad group might have a very specific landing page for this location. For example, Auburn might have a very specific landing page. So you could define it here. And then when you go and generate your ads, you could say group URL. And that way you can generate the right URL for the right ads. But we're just going to keep this simple. HTTPS, we'll just say awesomerealty.info, whatever the, the landing page would be. Now we just hit generate ads. So what did we do here? Let's take a look. We could look at this on the groups tab. Let's look at Camp Murray. So the ad group is Camp Murray. Let's see if we can best fit. This is what our ad looks like. Talk to our experienced agents. So sell your Camp Murray home fast. Didn't fit. We didn't put any default text there. That's why it's exceeding the character limits. Also, this Camp Murray sell home. Let's look at our ad here. Oh, I accidentally put this here. Whoops. Here, let's, so if you mess up, like I just did, delete them all and then just regenerate them. So now if we go and look at Camp Murray, we don't have that problem anymore. And actually, again, I messed up. Sorry about that. Let's go here, delete them all. Instead of add group, we wanna make sure that space has a dash in it. Okay, so anyways, generate the ads. Now let's go and look here. And you can see this has a dash where a space would be. That's what we wanted. So some of these are going, going to exceed the character limits. We're not gonna worry about that right at this moment because you can easily take care of this once it's in Google Ads Editor. Okay, now if we wanted to, we could copy this ad to a new one, copy to new ad, and we could say something different for the headline. Now you'll probably want to change up your messaging quite a bit. Don't just tweak the ad copy. Go in a completely different direction to try a different idea. See this ad appeals to my expertise within the area of selling real estate. Here I might say something like 15 homes sold in and then the location. We'll say ad group 
keep the space the space. And instead of that, actually let's delete that. We're gonna add a default text here. We'll say add group. And I'll say your area if it's too long. Okay, so let's just delete these ads again. Regenerate. Now when we see Camp Murray, this is what it says. 15 homes sold in Camp Murray. Something like that. Okay, so now we've generated our ads. They're all relevant to the ad group. And we know that the keywords within those groups, let's take a look, are related to that geographic area. So hopefully at this point, let's stop and take a look here. The idea of this program is to align your keywords, your ads, your landing page with the same theme. So you would probably want to have an Everett landing page. That way, when somebody lands on it, you know they typed in Everett sell my home keywords. You know that their ad talked about selling their home fast sell your Everett home fast, 15 homes sold in Everett, and then the landing page should talk about Everett also. Okay, so the last step here, you generate the campaign. So when you click that, it's only gonna generate the output for this. You have to select the actual campaign at the top, and that'll generate the whole campaign. But look what it did here. Cannabis, Facebook, Grand Theft Auto, Kentucky without. So it's adding the negatives here, it's adding the ads here, and then it's adding the keywords here. It's that same kind of structure when you actually click it up here. But before we do that, I want to go here, add some more negatives to this keyword list, and that was from, well, I think I did save it, didn't I? No, I didn't save it. That, that list of like hotels and motels and whatever, I would ideally like to save that, come here, copy and paste it into here. Those are negatives then at that point on. And then I go and click generate the campaign results. So there we go. Um, I'm gonna say control A to select everything. There is this export option. You don't have to worry about it. I wouldn't even bother using it. It's easiest just to open it up, control C, select everything, control C. And then you're gonna open up Google Ads Editor. You could also do this for Bing Ads Editor or Microsoft Advertising, whatever the name is this week. And then let's go ahead and say account import from paste text. And we paste from clipboard. All the headlines should be just fine. Hit process. And that imported one campaign, 82 ad groups, 1,175 keywords, six negatives, and 164 ads. So I keep, and these are all of the keywords and ad groups that were imported. Now the next step would be to go into your ad groups, look for any issues. We don't see any issues here. I would recommend giving it a default bid. So you select everything here, this area, the default max CPC. Now this all depends on whether or not you want to use Google's automatic bidding and then we get into other areas of discussion. So we're gonna leave that to you, but ideally, if you wanted to make these yellow triangles go away, let's say our bid is, let's say 425, just depends on the area you're in. Those yellow triangles are still here because of rules. Um, like this one is, you don't have like three ads or you don't have a responsive search ad or whatever rule Google's decided to come up with now the ads, this is where we, we actually do need to look. Let's sort by clicking this red icon. Here we have ads that exceed character limits. So what you wanna do is look at here. So sell your home, how to sell my home fast. Why? Oh, okay, so the reason that happened is because this ad group has this how to sell my home fast. So we'll just say, sell your home fast. When you do these edits, it changes, like that, that error went away, and this is exceeding the character limit, so we could just sell my home local, locally. 
I don't know. Just put that in there. And then you want to go through here. Sell your sell your Bainbridge Island home. So I'm not going to bore you with the details, but you want to just go through these specifically, make your corrections. And the reason this happened again is because I did not add default text. It's not because you have to do this every time. It's just that I just didn't add default text in the program when I generated the ads. So like this part here, we could easily have handled this. That way when it comes to this part, you never have to deal with this. You wanna make sure that your budget is set. So if it's $20 per day, you would put that there. After you correct your ads, and after you have your budget in place, you've pretty much created your local real estate campaign for homeowners that are trying to sell their home. Now there's a lot of different layers to this. I think of it like an onion. You really want the core people that you're after, but there's also other layers to this and other keyword ideas you could think about. But in general, I hope this gives local real estate agents a good starting point if you wanted to generate campaigns for your local real estate business. And one more thing I wanna mention as a precautionary tale, before you go and click post, post changes, that's going to upload it to Google Ads system. From there, you can log into the online interface and you can see your campaign. But before you do, you wanna go into keywords, you wanna go into locations, and you might wanna just enter your city name. So first, delete United States if you're not targeting the entire United States. In our case, we're targeting the 50, you know, like 30 miles around the Bellevue, Washington area. So then we would say add location, add it here. So we could say something like Bellevue, Washington, and hit enter. Now, right now, it doesn't know if that location exists. You can use this check changes, and that's going to pull over this dialog here. We're going to check changes right here. Selected campaigns, check the change. And when you do that, you're gonna see this green check mark, meaning, oh, this item appears. So make sure you do that because I've seen a lot of new advertisers accidentally target the entire United States, for example, and that could just absolutely ruin your chances of getting good leads. It's, I mean, that's just people you're not really trying to target. So just don't do that. If you want to get this program, definitely check out my course node site. That's where you can get this software if you want to actually do it. But in general, I hope this helps uh, any local real estate agent. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe this video if you liked it. And thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for giving me your precious time in, in order to try and help you with your real estate campaign.